channel if you're new welcome thank you so much for stopping by today I'm coming back with another what I eat in a day I'm going to be showing you guys realistic meals that I prepare including breakfast lunch dinner and some snacks that I throw in there to keep myself full I really enjoy making these videos for you guys and it shows you kind of a little glimpse of what my day looks like I'm gonna go ahead and start making my breakfast smoothie as you guys saw I went ahead and did a quick 30 minute Pilates class this morning I'm trying it out um, I've been uh, lucky to get a three month pass so I'm gonna go ahead and see how I like it. I'm currently wearing this really cute um, workout outfit. I got this top as a PR gift from Aloe, and then I have these biker shorts that I bought from Old Navy. So I'm gonna go ahead and freshen up before I make breakfast, change, shower, and then go ahead and show you guys how I prepare my smoothie. I'm gonna show you guys or include all of the recipes down below in this, the description box like I usually do, and we can go ahead and get our day started. So let's go. breakfast is all done I made my smoothie I'm gonna go ahead and drink this up and then go ahead and get started on some work um, and getting caught up with some emails and start to kind of plan the rest of my day I wanted to show you guys some stuff upstairs um, more specifically Morton got me this awesome vinyl record for Christmas and I've been able to kind of start collecting my collection it's hard to find some of the uh, vinyls that I like or they're just really expensive um, but I really do like it and it adds a lot of character to the loft upstairs So I'm going to show you guys a little setup that I have um, And yeah, so I'll be back for lunch also to show you guys the ingredients and the meal that I prepare All right, so here is the little corner that we've updated so before there was nothing here um, He got this vinyl record for me for Christmas and then what I did is I bought this cool Storage from Urban Outfitters and so at the bottom I have the vinyls that I've collected and then at the top I just store the books that I have. Um, the problem with this, and I kind of hate it because of it, is I think this is cheap wood, so the wood is expanding and you can see it lifting on the corners, which pisses me off, but I think I'm too lazy to find another one to put here. So here are my records. I have some Miles Davis, Jordan Rakai, I think I'm saying that wrong, some Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, I also found this really cool one um, at a vinyl record store, and this is a kind of a Latin-inspired vinyl. I don't know the artist, so maybe you guys do. But I also have some Leon Bridges, one of my favorite artists. Sam Cooke, another one of my favorite artists to listen to. Um, let's see. We also have Tom Misch. Absolutely love him. And a Brazilian record that I found and I really like. So yeah, this is the new little corner, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. Yes, and as you guys know, I love music, so this brings me a lot of happiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with work and play probably one of these records. By the way, I wanted to show you guys this book that I started reading, but then unfortunately kind of paused. It's really, really good. I'm not sure if you guys have read it. I would highly recommend. Um, it's kind of a dark novel, but it's really, really well written. Let me know if you guys have read it down below. I need to get back into it, which is kind of embarrassing. Hello, hello, hello. Time to make some lunch. I'm starving. I waited too long and did too much um, and got distracted with the time. So I'm going to go ahead and try to keep lunch simple and quick. Um, I'm trying to stay healthy and eat healthy, but I do miss um, going out to eat or like the fast food options. But the thing is, 
I gained too much weight during COVID and I'm trying to shed the pounds. So today's lunch is gonna be some chicken, uh, potatoes, and then some frozen vegetables that I will go ahead and prepare. Um, I try not to spend too much time with lunch just because it's in the middle of the day and I gotta get some stuff done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the food and walk you through how I make my lunch. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long. So I have these baby yellow potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them, prep them, and then throw them in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven at 400 degrees. waiting for the oven to go ahead and finish getting preheated to 400. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in for about 30 minutes, but after 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them so that they evenly get nice and toasted. So while this cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the chicken and then get the water boiling for the vegetables. Chicken is all clean. I went ahead and diced them up. I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning them um, to get them prepared before I start cooking. that I'll be using. I get these from Costco. Sometimes they just come in hand if you just need to throw in some frozen vegetables because it makes it quick and easy. So I'm just waiting for the water to boil and the chicken is on the stove. This is what the chicken looks like. I went ahead and flipped them over so that they get evenly heated up. The potatoes are almost done. Veggies are in. Lunch is served. Here is the final look of what we're eating for lunch. Um, it's pretty simple, chicken, some type of grain, and then some vegetables. And in this case, I was too lazy, so I went with some frozen veggies. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chow down. To add a little flavor, I love using this chipotle lime mayo. I grab it from the grocery store and it's honestly so, so, so good with the chicken and the potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my lunch here while watching Behind Her Eyes on Netflix. It's absolutely so good. Uh, Morton's not really a fan of it, but a lot of you guys have been saying it picks up and it gets really good and the ending is insane, so please do not spoil it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I have a meeting uh, that I have to go ahead and attend over Zoom for a brief call that I have. All right gotta eat. <laughs> okay, I'm back to go ahead and start preparing dinner for you guys. I'm very excited about this meal. It's been one of my favorites. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me make it quite often, um, but I'm going to go ahead and prepare some salmon, broccolini, as well as some orzo. It's a mix that I pick up from Trader Joe's and it's amazing. It's super quick to make. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything prepared and show you guys the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Here are the salmons. These are from Costco, really good quality. The broccolini that I picked up from Trader Joe's. And this also, this is the mix that I mentioned to you guys. It's the orzo pilaf mix.
start off with this recipe, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. I don't have unsalted, so I'm just using this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and heat that a little and then add the orzo in it so it can mix together. Now that the butter is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of water and the seasoning that comes in the box. While the orzo cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the broccolini. The orzo will take about 20 minutes and I usually take about 15-ish minutes with the broccolini. And the salmon, of course, takes less time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with these two and then get the salmon on last. For seasoning, I'm gonna add some garlic powder, salt, and then black pepper. Because I want the broccoli to go ahead and get soft and steam, I'm gonna add a little bit of water so they don't burn. done that took about 25 minutes it's one of our favorite meals currently and we'll probably get sick of it very very quickly um, it's healthy and easy to make let me know if you guys try it at home also or if you switch it up I would love to know I hope you guys found these meals easy to make they're super tasty and realistic of what we kind of try to incorporate during the day we are trying to stay healthy it's very hard I am telling you it's very hard um, I have tried to be consistent with food and with working out so I'm really trying to take it very seriously just because summer is coming quickly i hope you guys liked this video i love cooking for you guys i'm i'm gonna try to find other meals to make for you guys also just to switch it up a bit but let me know down below if you have anything in mind some recipes that you guys want to share with me that i can introduce to you guys as well that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and comment and subscribe i appreciate your support guys thank you so much see you next time